Time for the rear end to go. These videos pretty much started out as my way of documenting how things were before I tore into it. One time I rebuilt an Isuzu pickup truck engine. Took lots of pictures of where things went. Vacuum tubes, electrical connections, brackets. Grateful that I did too. That truck was a nightmare from hell. But I got it all back together and everything worked great. So on the car, got a video camera documenting everything I do. This fucker's rusted in really good. Thanks to some PB Blaster and my buddy Tony who recommended the air hammer. It's a done deal. So what do you do when a brake drum won't come off? Well, I'll show you. Mazda RX-3 has these fixing screws that keep the brake drum attached to the hub. And they go right here. So you take these fixing screws, which are typically in these holes here, in two of the four holes, go through to the hub. You put them in the next hole over, does not go through to the hub. It stops at the hub. So as you tighten those screws through the brake drum into the hub, it acts like a puller. It's not real clear how to disengage the emergency brake cable from the dust shield. So, here's how you do it. This part is metal, right here, metal. This part is rubber, and there's a retaining clip here. So first, let's get this puppy out of the way. If ever I'm sitting there going, wait, how does this go back together? I've got the video showing me exactly how it came apart. Then, take the, sick, the retaining clip out of the way. I've done plenty of brake jobs over the years, but I've never pulled a rear end before. Never pulled an axle out either. This will be a first. Then, You work the e-brake cable backwards and out it comes out of the metal housing. That's how you do that. So at the front of the leaf is an eyelet type mount. So you're gonna need the 12 millimeter deep socket for this bolt here and these two bolts up here. The rear is a shackle. So you've got two nuts there that are 14. You got a bolt there that's 14. You loosen those nuts on the side of the shackle, long one and the short one. And for the U-bolts, you need a 14 deep socket. In my case, I'm pulling the differential and the leaf springs. So I've got the vehicle supported at the frame. The differential is supported. And there's Bella. Want me to hold the camera? <laughs> um, okay. shackle is held in by 14 millimeter bolt and two nuts. So the 
front eyelet comes out by tapping it with a hammer and working working it back and forth till you get it out. We're okay. Just be careful of the brake line as you're pulling your U-bolt out. So you don't want to damage that. So the bushings come right out. They're just two half pieces. Just work those out. of the front eyes. For the rear shackle bolts you need your deep 12 socket again. So this bracket comes off. piece of the shackle will rotate off like this. So those are the shackle bushings. And then this comes out as a whole piece. And then these puppies come out. All the other bushings came right out. This one's being a little challenge. These right rear shackle bushings were the hardest ones to get out. Overall it was between like five and six minutes of messing around with it to get them out. Speeding it way up here. And that is the disassembly of a Mazda RX-3 rear leaf spring. Time for a little cleanup. Got my handy little bags. So all the shackle parts go in one bag. Uh, these can go in the trash, but I'm just going to match them up with my replacement bushings before I really toss them. These were the nuts that came off of the shackle. I'm going to get all brand new nuts, but U-bolt parts, I'll go in here. Going to end up bead blasting and powder coating all these little goodies. Make them pretty. It's got to be pretty.